Sigma has some awesome lenses for Sony E-mount cameras like this 30mm f1.4 and you can even get them refurbished. But should you? I say yes. And I'll explain why. This is Sigma's 30mm f1.4 lens for E-mount cameras, Sony E-mount cameras and it retails for usually around $330. I got mine over a year ago from Sigma's refurbished site, their outlet site, for only $259. So I saved about $70 by buying straight from Sigma, and as far as I can tell, it's as good as new, or it was as good as new as I bought it. And because of my great experience with buying this lens, I knew that when Sigma announced their 16mm lens that I wanted to wait. I didn't buy it through any retail stores. I waited and waited until it popped up on Sigma's outlet site. And then I bought it. So instead of spending $449 for the lens, I only spent $339. I saved $110. Let's unbox the lens and take a look at it and see if it stands up to uh, the refurbished title and if it's as good or close to as good as a new lens. Here we have the box that my 16 millimeter lens came in and it's just a standard retail box, nothing special about it. We open it on up and the first thing we see is this warranty sticker signifying that this lens is refurbished. We've got all the original paperwork and the lens itself. Just like any new lens, this is packaged in plastic. Uh, they don't treat it any differently than they would a new lens. And we can just move all this out of the way. And here is the lens. Oh, there goes the lens cap. Um, on first glance, it looks brand new to me. I know that this is uh, refurbished through Sigma, but I highly doubt that anything bad has ever happened to this, and it should function as if it is new. Here's a look at the front lens element. It looks pretty great to me. Uh, I'm not seeing any scratches, any dust, anything to be concerned about, and the back. I hope this is in focus. Uh, I'm manually focusing with my Rokinol lens because it does not have autofocus. So hopefully I'm holding this lens in the proper place so that you can see it in focus. Part of the reason I wanted to get the Sigma 16mm is because it has autofocus so I can do some of these wider shots with autofocus. Right now you're viewing me through the Rokinon or Samyang 12mm lens. So let's put on this 16mm Sigma lens and see how that changes this field of view. All right, now you're viewing me on the Sigma lens, the 16mm. Uh, as you can tell, it's not nearly as wide as the 12 millimeter, but it's still fairly wide for a crop sensor camera. On the Sony a6500, I think it works pretty well, and it gives you wide enough for most purposes. Uh, I'm still going to keep that 12 millimeter Rokinon around because I need a super wide often, but for video purposes, this lens is much better for me, primarily because it has autofocus. So if I go close to the lens, it should focus on my face better. I'm sure you all appreciated that extreme close-up of me. You're welcome. Overall, I've got to say, I'm really happy with the quality of these refurbished lenses from Sigma. They're certified refurbished by Sigma, not by some third party. And so far, I've been extremely pleased with the quality of the lenses. I can highly recommend this to anyone looking at buying Sigma lenses. They have not only E-mount lenses like I've been buying, but they also have Canon mount lenses. They have Nikon. They have Micro Four Thirds. They have a lot of different mounts for a lot of their lenses. So whether you shoot Canon, Sony, Sigma, anything else, I say go check out the Sigma refurbished outlet site and take a look at their lens selection. They It's always changing based on what they have in stock, but you can always find great deals there depending on what lens, what lens you're trying to buy. Thank you for watching. Uh, I will see you again soon. Have a great day. Bye.